I tell you I'm really scared of doing this video. Hello, welcome to a new video. For some reason, whenever we are like exposing cons of living in Singapore and moving to Singapore, it's kind of seen as if we are not grateful of living in Singapore and being here and enjoying the good side of Singapore. But if you are following me for a certain amount of time, you might know that I'm really grateful to be able to live in Singapore and to call it like home heaven. But there are still some things that we need to start stop romanticizing about moving overseas, not particularly in Singapore. So in this video, I'm going to share with you what to expect when living in Singapore, when you're moving, when it's your first time overseas. Basically, the hard truths about moving to Singapore. First, it's hard to make friends. As a working adult, the people I'm spending the most time with are my colleagues. So if you have colleagues that are on the same age range as you, then you can become close and become friend eventually but it's not always the case maybe I'm speaking as an introvert and someone that is not really socially active but to make friends in Singapore you really have to get yourself out there you have to go out of your way join new hobbies new activities and clubs but even when you are meeting new people those people because they've been living in Singapore for a long time they might have already their group of friends especially for locals so you might not be able to join that group of friends that easily and if most of your friends are expat in Singapore, the issue is that they might not stay for a long time in Singapore, maybe for six months, one year or two years. So it's really hard to invest in close and deep friendship because then you have to like renew it every once in a while. That's how I feel about making friends in Singapore. You might not make many friends but I feel like the friends I have in Singapore I re can really count on them so in the end it's not about the quantity but the quality. Second hard truth about Singapore is that it's a good place but it's pricey. No need to extend on that again you know that renting in Singapore is really pricey especially for condos but the good part of that that is that it's usually worth it meaning that you get a set of amenities that you might not get in other countries most of the things that you can find are overpriced but there are still some ways that you can like kind of live like a local by trying to get good deals like get app to get cash back and other things to save a bit of money every day there are definitely some ways of not spending too much because they are really like big income gap in Singapore and it's something that you can really feel. I feel like it's less obvious back in France because everyone is kind of like middle class but here in Singapore you can see that there are crazy rich people but also poor people. Next point is that it is indeed raining quite often not really to the point that it's a big issue but like just not to be surprised because here the rain can be quite heavy even though it's sunny hot and humid most of the time in singapore we are really blessed by the amount of food that you can find but to be honest not everything is so healthy meaning that the portion of rice might be too much that gravy sometimes contains too much salt so I think that most families here in Singapore are still like cooking. There are still many people like dining out, uh, but cooking should be part of your routine if you are living in Singapore, if you want to keep a healthy diet. But surprisingly, everyone is kind of in a good health. Maybe it's due to the effort made in prevention, health prevention. We can see many advertisements in the MRT, for example, about diabetes and cancer suggesting people to get checked up. Next hard truth about living in Singapore is that you can expect to spend quite some time in the public transport. Going around in Singapore is really convenient, there is nothing to say about that. It's just that when you want to go from somewhere to somewhere else, most of the time you will need to use the MRT or the bus. And rides can be from 10 minutes to 40 minutes. So. Even like to go to work, you have to spend maybe 20-30 minutes, depending like how far you live, of course. So you better find a way to occupy your time while you are on the public transport. Next hard truth about moving to Singapore is that yes, you need a diploma or experience to get a job in Singapore. Here in Singapore, you are in competition with talent from around the world because many people want to move in Singapore for their career. And technically, you are also in competition with Singaporeans. So it's very unlikely that you will get a job without a degree or without a minimum experience and as I'm mentioning it you will indeed 
feel inequalities, especially between like locals and expats, Singaporean NPRs versus work pass holders. Even if Singapore is a very open community, there are still some differences that you can see. Like renting a place or get a specific credit card might be difficult if you are not Singaporean or PRs. And here I'm not saying that it shouldn't be the case. It's natural that citizens have more advantage living in their own countries. I'm just telling you about it and expats are definitely not accepted um, by everyone. Like many times I heard that I should go back to France and that I'm taking the job of like a Singaporean. But even yourself coming and living in Singapore, you have to learn to live with many different culture, religion, people. Not everyone is gracious and has good manners. So it's just something that you have to live with and just see the good sides. And the last thing that I want to mention is that in Singapore, there are many places that are just for tourists or often overcrowded. Like during weekends or holiday, theme parks, small cafes. When something go viral in Singapore, you can make sure that there are many, many people who will want to go there. So if you want to go also, you might have to either like be okay with queuing or like wait a little bit that the trend goes down. But also there are many things that just look nice and are overpriced because their sole purpose is to attract tourists. So sometimes you have to escape from those places to explore also a more authentic Singapore in a way. But both ways, Singapore is still very enjoyable. So I hope you have a great time in Singapore, whether you are living in Singapore, moving in Singapore or coming for vacation in Singapore. Let me know if you have learned things in Singapore the hard way in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.